I am not much for radical change, but watching this toxic partisan debate over health care made me take notice of a proposal by Phil Kiesling, a former Oregon Secretary of State. Writing in the New York Times last week, he said, if we want to get serious about reducing hyper-partisanship and legislative dysfunction, then just eliminate party primary elections. As you know, most states allow political parties to hold primaries to choose their candidates. But Kiesling notes what we often overlook. Not many people vote in these primaries. In 2006, fewer than 5% voted in the New York primaries, no more than 15 to 30% in most states. In Texas this year, there was a record high primary turnout, 16.5%. What this means is that those who do vote in the primaries are the most partisan activists, the party's base, the most conservative Republicans, the most liberal Democrats. To win a primary, Democratic candidates have to move left. Republicans have to move right, which leaves the candidates stuck with positions that are less moderate than most people who vote in general elections, and worse, positions from which they can't compromise once they reach Washington. To change this, Kiesling proposes that every candidate, Republicans, Democrats, Independents, all run together in one nonpartisan primary with the top two, whatever their party, facing off in November. This wouldn't be a cure-all, but Kiesling believes it would reduce the disproportionate power the current process gives to the shrillest and most mean-spirited partisans. For sure, the result couldn't be worse than what our current system has produced.